Hi guys, I'm Shelly. And I'm Mike with Camping with the Confers. For those of you guys that have been to our channel before, thank you and welcome back. And if you're new, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to share with you 10 Valentine idea gifts for the RV lover. Little play on words there too. Because lovers. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Right. RV lovers. So gift ideas for your significant other or if you are watching this looking for a gift for someone in your life that is an RV lover or avid camper for something outside of Valentine's Day. These are things too that either we've received as gifts, we've gotten each other as gifts, or we've just picked up along the way and we've just really enjoyed. They're not, none of these are necessities. These are all just like fun extras. Just to have in your camper. Starting with number one. So number one, one we use all the time is a two person camp chair. So it folds out instead of your regular camp chair, it just folds out double wide. So you have a little love seat to sit around the fire that the yeah. two of us can sit in together. It packs up fairly small in a little wrapper with the little backpack strap so you can carry it around if you want to take it to the beach or you know just carrying it to the neighbor's campsite if you're going over to sit by the fire with them. In addition to the chair we had picked up these nice little like um, um, umbrella shade umbrellas that hook to the chair and uh, so that it has a clamp that clamps down and then you okay so this button actually allows you to change the direction of it and then it also has one of those buttons here so that way once you get it clipped, you know, if the sun moves, then you can just um, adjust the umbrella. And we use these at the campsite, like if we don't have a lot of shade, we also take these to the beach and right. hook them to our beach chairs. So these are just are really nice and have come in handy. And they have the UV protectant built in on the inside. Yes. To keep the UV. Yes. Number two. Number two is a propane fire pit. Um, when I was originally thinking about getting this, I got it from Mike for his birthday. Um, and it's been really useful. Um, I didn't think we would use it at all. Right. And then we ended up finding that we used it a lot. Um, one, when we went out west this year, there are a lot of campgrounds that do not allow um, wood regular fires. wood fires. So campgrounds that don't allow wood fires often allow propane fires. So we've used it for that. Mm -hmm. uh, we've used it whenever um, we just want to, we know we want to have a fire for like 30 minutes or an hour. We don't want to, you know, build up a whole fire, mm -hmm. you know, wait for it. that It's going to burn out. Uh, and we use it here at the house in yes. the winter when we're not camping in our little gazebo that we have out back. So we can still sit outside even when it's cold and it keeps it pretty warm in there yeah we've used it a lot it was not super expensive we hook it up to a how many pound propane tank what uh, is that? 20s and 30s yeah so it's very convenient right and we're going to put the descriptions and links in the description box for all of this stuff if it's anything you're interested in you can just go down click on that and show you where we picked them up yep so number three kind of goes along with the uh, propane fire pit trying to stay warm is the Mr. Buddy little propane heater. It's coming super handy in the RV. And we actually took it with us to an outdoor music festival at Buckeye Lake and kind of stashed it underneath of our picnic table. We made a lot of friends we, that day. We did. <laughs> Everybody was coming over to our table just to keep their feet and legs warm while we were there. So another super handy little widget. Oh, and then we also have the um, quick disconnect so that you can connect the buddy to the um, larger propane tanks also. Yeah, you can use the 20 pounders from your gas grill or uh, some of the smaller campers have 20 pound propane tanks on them. We have 30 pounders on ours. There's a regulator that comes with it. You can you can hook it right up to yep. the tanks that come on your Yeah, on we, your use, we use the little cans if we want to take it places right. like, like the music venue, you know, thing that we went to, yeah. Right, so number, number four. four. So number four is the Blackstone. Mike uses the Blackstone. I typically do not, um, not that I can't, but typically when we're camping, he does the outdoor cooking. I do the indoor cooking, but um, you know, the Blackstone speaks for itself. We've had many delicious meals on it. Um, and I just feel like I'm a little spoiled that he does all the cooking when we're camping. And the Blackstone that we got is, it is half griddle and half grill on one stand. And we'll show you a picture of that because we're not going to set it up here in the house for you guys. But the way that this thing's set up, the grill side of it, 
uh, it'll get up to like 600 degrees. So we actually figured out how to make pizza on the grill yeah. on the Blackstone, which is really nice. And it only takes 10 minutes to make a pizza. Yeah, if that. very cooked. And then you still have the griddle to make your eggs and sausage and all the other stuff oh, that you yeah. make on your Stir table. fry, fajitas, um, you know, Everything. steaks, chicken, I mean, really anything. We haven't like made dessert. We haven't made dessert. No, but we saw someone else do those uh Oh, the cinnamon smash cinnamon rolls. We're yeah, going to have to try that yeah, this year. Yeah, I think that was... I think that was Chuck and Sherry yeah, yeah. that made those. Yeah, so. we're going to steal your idea, Chuck and Sherry. Right on. And route right. with Chuck and Sherry. All right, so number five. So the fifth thing on our list is the insulated can holders. So we picked these things up, and they're super nice. They keep everything crazy cold. The outside will stay just a regular temperature, even if it sits out in the sun, you're not gonna burn your hands on it, even though they are a metal material. They'll hold a regular size can, they'll hold the little skinny cans of whatever you want, your beverage of choice. They'll hold bottles, glass bottles, aluminum bottles, everything, and it keeps everything super cold. And it also works as its own cup too. So you could just pour your beverage right in there and drink out of it as, you know, as a cup. And it has the handy dandy oh the bottle opener, bottle opener on built the back. Into the bottom. Yeah, we love these so much. We ended up buying them as a gift for someone else, also. Yeah, and when you find we found these in a four pack, and they weren't very expensive. Were I we can, able to I'll put, put this the link? link. Okay, yeah. yeah, we'll be able to put this link down below for you too. But these things are super nice, and they're not super expensive either. Number six. Oh, six. Okay, um, number six is Bluetooth speaker. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be this one. Of course. Again, this was a gift. I got this for Mike also. Um, uh, what we really love about this one is it's waterproof. Um, so mm -hmm. we take it on the kayaks with us. Uh, we take it uh, around the campfire so we're not having to use our speakers on the camper. So, you know, just kind of be respective of our neighbors. don't have to listen to our um, Yeah, plus it's a lot better sound out of this than our camper, camper speakers, stereo. For yeah. sure. Uh, we throw it in a backpack. If we want to go for a bike ride, yep. we can listen to music if we want to. Yep. Uh, it goes to the beach with us. It's been underwater. It's had sand in it. It's a yeah, pretty was, quality product. Yeah, and it was fairly inexpensive. I, Again, we'll put that in the description down below with the link to it. So yep. if you guys are interested. Uh, number seven. So number seven is something that we picked up last year. Well, um, the hobby, but it was a gift right. from our it son. It was also a gift from one of our kids to us. I'm starting to see a theme here. Most of these are <laughs> gifts that we've gotten. Right, yeah. So we picked up Pickleball. Mm. So Pickleball is a super fun, low impact. You can it make wins. it low impact. We're a little bit... Uh, Any skill level can play right. Pickleball. It's really becoming popular. A lot of campgrounds are putting in Pickleball courts. We get a little um, a lot aggressive. Of communities are putting in pickleball courts. But I've only lost once. Stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> but super fun game. Not super expensive, I don't believe. There's always there's different price points. Yeah, I'm sure you can spend as much as you want. But these guys, Franklin makes these. Um, yeah, I think it was probably. I feel like, like it was kind of middle of the bucks. road. So, Something like that. Super fun, yeah. easy gift. Super fun, yeah, and it's you know we do it together. All right, so number eight. Number eight. What's number eight, Michael? Number eight are binoculars. So we have kind of become bird nerds over the last couple of years while we're out. Yeah, that started camping. over COVID. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a good set of binoculars, twofold. One, you can check out the birds. Two, if you've watched any of our other videos, we get lost a lot. And it's nice to have a pair of binoculars in your backpack when you do get an opening to kind of maybe see what that building is off in the distance and see if it's where you're supposed to be going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but a good set of binoculars. On this one, I we will also, tell you though. We also take the binoculars when we go kayaking too, a lot of times, mm -hmm. um, because you can see a lot of birds, you know, down in the channels and stuff. stuff. Right. I will say on this one though, if you are getting a pair of binoculars for somebody, it is a higher end item because it's one of those things you get what you pay for. Right, right. Um, you can pick up a pair of binoculars for 20 bucks, but they're not going to be good. Um, so when, yeah. you're, when you're looking at a pair of optics or something like that, you know, it's worth the extra money. 
to get a good set. I think this pair was like a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, Bushnell makes those Bushnell, ones. Bushnell, yeah. Um, I'll see if I can find a link to something comparable. I know mm -hmm. that we did not get these online. Mike got these as a gift for me, actually. Mm -hmm. Here we go again. Um, at a sporting goods store. So yeah. Number nine. So number nine we have on our list as RV Trip Wizard. So it's not a physical gift that you would hand someone. It's a subscription. Um, Shelly, I'll let you explain this because it's something that you use. It's a gift that I bought for myself. So it just makes trip planning so much easier. Um, so I will put a, a link to RV Trip Wizard also for you to check it out. But basically you can just put in um, like where you're going, map places along the way. You can do look up campground reviews. You can get your fuel cost by putting your miles in with your distance. Yeah, how many miles per gallon that yeah, your vehicle gets. that's what I'm gets. trying to say. Yeah. Right. yeah, you can estimate trip cost by putting your campground fees and your uh, miles per gallon in and it'll, it'll calculate. Um, you can figure out waypoints, you know, throughout your trip. It's just, it's really helpful tool. So it was a gift I bought myself. Number 10. Number 10 is x -Chalks. It kind of doesn't go along. You might not think it kind of goes along with all the other things that we've listed, but x is really great because it cuts down on the movement while you're in the camper. Right. It just goes between the two axles, between the tires right. on either side of the trailer. Yeah. So if there's any activity going on in the camper, it really helps stabilize it helps with the movement of the trailer while you're moving around inside. <laughs> okay. All right. And so we have just a couple of bonus items on here. They're, you know, a little more pricey and it's kind of over 10, but, um, well, that was number 10. So these are yeah. the free bonus items free. of things that come in super nice, right. super handy for inside your RV. Yes. So, we just talked about the X-Chalks, now we're going to talk about a new mattress. Yes. So the, if any of you guys that have an RV, you got the mattress that came in the RV, and you got your RV home, and you threw the mattress in the dumpster. Or you wanted to. Or you wanted to. And because, if you haven't yet, do it now. Yeah, they're terrible. So we have a memory foam mattress in our RV. It's the same one that we have in our room house. here at the house. Yeah. Um, Very put inexpensive. A, yeah. I got it on Amazon. It was like two fifty or something. And you would think a mattress that cheap, it can't be comfortable. I promise you, it is. Look at the reviews. It has thousands and thousands of great, reviews. great reviews. Yeah, and it's it's a very comfortable mattress. And then the last bonus item, again, oh, very yes. pricey is a generator generator so you definitely want to pick up an inverter generator if you're going to be off-grid camping if you don't have solar we don't have solar um, we do spend a good bit of time at campsites that don't have hookups uh, no electric no water no sewer anything like that yeah um, ours is a westinghouse it's made by cummins um, we'll put a link down below if we can find that mm -hmm. uh, where to pick those up uh, that's pretty expensive they're very quiet we have a 4,500 watt, which will run everything in our rig. We have a 50 amp rig. Um, we can run our air conditioner, microwave, lights, TVs, everything you can think of in your RV all at the same time. And we have not blown a breaker on it yet. It even has a remote start button. So when you wake up in the morning, you want to make coffee, you hit the remote start button, generator fires up, you got power, coffee's done, yeah. hit the button, turn it back off. Yeah, it's definitely an extra, but it allows us to, you know, boondock. You know, we've stayed overnight at the Cracker Barrel on the, you know, on the way from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. um, that particular night that we did that, it was so hot and it was raining. So, I mean, Couldn't we would have open. melted if we could not have had the AC mm -hmm. on that night. And then some of the state parks that we stay at, which will probably give you guys a sneak peek at one of our favorites, but it is all dry camping there. Yeah. Um, some state parks won't allow you to run a generator, so you do need to check. Yeah, you have to check. That. And some, yeah. it's weird because some will have generator friendly areas, but non generator friendly areas too. So you have to watch which site that you're getting into. But And another bonus, we had the power go out in our house mm. and the power was out for like four days and we ran the generator in our driveway 
to keep our refrigerator running. Yeah, and it ran plenty of lights. The refrigerator in the basement, the refrigerator up here in our kitchen kept everything from going bad. So yep. super nice to have around, even if you aren't camping in the wintertime. If you live around us, the power goes out fairly regular in the wintertime. It's just a nice bonus to have. So these are some of the great gift ideas that we came up with. Put in the comments down below some of the gift ideas that you guys have for the RV lovers in your lives. So that's that wraps up our list of suggested Valentine gifts for the RV lover. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and the notification, notification bell and give us a thumbs up. Right. You got to remember to keep your adventures going. See you guys. See you later.